So what's your story? You're a mystery. Who are you? The philosophy for the new version of Splinter Cell, Splinter Cell Blacklist, is really that we want to create the most ambitious, the biggest Splinter Cell that has ever existed. Gentlemen, the Blacklist is real. There are high, high quality expectations from being a Ubisoft product. We've been given so much creative freedom here, every single one of us. There are no numbers on this team, so every position that we've hired for are key roles in order to deliver the best possible experience for Blacklist that we can. Just the man I'm looking for. You gotta believe in games. You gotta love what you do. That's one of the, the reasons why I came here. I, I saw the team that was established here, and, uh, and I wanted to work here. Spread over Montreal and Shanghai and many offices around the world. You can go around the world, like, doing your job. But it's very open within the game and within the different brands of Ubisoft. You can switch from one project to another. What we have here is a uh, look and feel concept painting. You'll see the remarkable similarity between our intentions here and, and the actual realization there. One of the classic Splinter Cell things is to be able to interact with the environment and you see Sam cut through cloth and do all these great things. You know, I've been setting up uh, workspaces to be able to make sure that cutting cloth works and that, you know, Sam can do all those things in, in co-op and multiplayer as well. Take the shot, Graham. There's a huge challenge that comes with doing these AAA productions, but all of the risk that comes with that also comes with a bigger reward at the end. You know, they really have a way of attracting the best in the business. We've got people who are lighters, and we've got people who are animators, and people who are technical artists and artists. And You feel like, this is my opportunity to take this, and I'm going to put my spin on it. Development cycles are getting longer. The industry moves very quickly, and windows of opportunity are small. Now it's less like you're going to work on hundreds of titles over the course of your career, so you need to think very carefully about who you're going to trust that career with. When something comes up that is going to be a career-changing move, you'd be crazy, crazy to, to let it slip. And if you want to make AAA, there isn't a really a better place than Ubisoft to go and do that. Welcome to 4th Echelon. That's the signal. We're on.